Hey beer tubers, we're back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me once again. Today I'm going to look at a beer. It's a collaboration beer between two breweries who I've never had a beer from either. And that's from Hebrew or Schmaltz Brewing Company and Terrapin Brewing out of Athens, Georgia. Uh, this is their Reunion Ale 11 or 2011. Uh, this is a collaboration ale to benefit the Institute of Melanoma and Bone Cancer Research. So it's actually a charity beer. Both breweries uh, came together to brew this one. It says it's a dark imperial ale brewed with cocoa nibs, vanilla, and chili pepper. Sound really awesome. 7.3%. The description kind of sounds like it's sort of like an imperial brown ale along those lines. And then they add in all those other ingredients. Uh, I can get Schmaltz beers here. Uh, it says they're out of New York, but I think there's like a San Francisco connection with them, if I remember right. And uh, Terrapin, uh, they don't distribute here, so uh, and I haven't traded for any of their beers. So it's going to be first time tra tasting something that they've done. So let's get this thing cracked open. I'm actually just grabbing this right out of the fridge. Um, so we're going to try it on the cold side and then let it warm up. I actually thought for some reason I originally read it as an Imperial IPA brewed with that but I misread it. So that's why I'm drinking it so cold. But um, anyway, I'll make sure it war warms up to proper temperature. Got about two fingers of, <clears throat> excuse me, very, very light brown head, mostly small bubbles. And holding it up to the light, you get a lot of ruby notes to it. So it kind of looks like imperial brown ale um, into kind of light porter territory with the appearance on it. Uh, let's get the aroma. Oh yeah, that's pretty interesting. A good, I'm getting a good amount of like caramel, a lot of caramel, kind of like you get with a brown ale. Some roasted notes back in there. Definitely some chocolate. Um, slight like hop character on the nose, but um, some breadiness in there. But I'd say more caramel, slight roast, uh, some chocolate. What else did they brew with this? The cocoa nibs, you definitely get vanilla and chili pepper. Let me see if I get any of that. Um, slight vanilla notes, but really not anything pepper-wise. Um, but there seems to be a good, fair amount going on. Definitely a, a malt forward beer. Maybe some slightly earthy, grassy hop notes. Just really minor, though. But uh, let's give this a try. Cheers. Yeah, that's nice. Um, very smooth, first thing I noticed. Um, not the biggest mouthfeel, 7.3%. Um, drinks kind of medium-ish, only slightly medium light. Um, definitely picking up that pepper in the back end though as you let it go down. Definitely getting some of the, some pepper notes. Up front, I get, kind of get this nutty caramel note, um, some breadiness of the malt. Then towards the finish, um, definitely a solid roast character. Uh, bits of kind of dark chocolate from the cocoa nibs. You know, kind of like that powdery uh, dryness kind of on the back end. And then once you think the beer's completely finished, a um, little kick of the pepper in there. So, okay, I'm gonna let this thing warm up to a uh, proper drinking temperature and come back with some more tasting notes. Okay, I'm back with Schmaltz and Terrapins Reunion Ale 11 and let it warms up to a proper drinking temperature. And as I did so, the vanilla flavors really began to pop out um, big time in the back end of this beer. Um, right after, you kind of get the same flavors up front, <clears throat> that kind of brown ale base. Then you get chocolate then vanilla, and then it finishes as the vanilla kind of fades, you get the slight hit from the chili peppers. I think they did the pepper really well. It's kind of one of those things if maybe they didn't tell you it, it was in there on the ball, you might not quite pick up, possibly. You might think, what's, what's that kind of going on in the back end? But um, it helps balance things out really well. Um, it's, it's not an overly sweet beer. It's Fairly dry, you get a little, little bit of lingering kind of chocolate and vanilla notes. 
And I think that pepper kind of really helps the back end uh, help balance it out. So I'm really, really enjoying this beer. Uh, I just wish it was a little bit bigger up front to kind of help support all, all the chocolate and vanilla notes. Maybe something like an Imperial Porter recipe or even a stout. Uh, but the, the brown ale, is a, it's a good base. It just wishes there's a little more mouthfeel, although being sort of like a more medium body beer does make it a little uh, easier to drink. But 7.3% 7 you know, you can't taste any alcohol or anything. Um, it's pre pretty good ABB. I just think um, I, I really like the, you know, once you're kind of going to 7.3, maybe go a little bigger with it. But, you know, it's kind of nitpicking this one. Uh, it doesn't quite blow me away like an A beer does, but it's definitely a B plus beer. Uh, if, if you think you'd like a beer with, you know, the vanilla, cocoa nibs, and a little chili pepper in the end, you know, with the really solid uh, brown ale base, you know, nice caramel notes, breadiness, slight roastiness, you know, it, it's, it's definitely worth picking up, not only because it is uh, definitely almost a borderline excellent beer for, for my opinion, but also because of the charity factor. So, I don't know, uh, I assume you can get this beer in both of the breweries markets, uh, possibly, I don't know. It, it says it's bottled by Schmaltz, so definitely if you can find Schmaltz beer, you should be able to find this one. It's going to shot. The label's a little busy there, but uh, yeah. So it's, a, it's a really nice collaboration beer, and uh, the fact that the proceeds go to charity, you know, make it even nicer. So recommend picking it up. You know, it's, uh, the summer kind of fades away. This is a good transition fall type of beer for sure based on the characteristics. So uh, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.